Lee, tonight, the most staggering toll yet. 475 deaths in just the last 24 hours. And again, this happened in a country with a severe lockdown, with more doctors and beds per capita per person than here in the U.S. And tonight, Italians recording messages to send out to the world their warning. Here's ABC's Maggie Rooley. Tonight, Italy staggering as the virus rages. 475 more deaths in 24 hours, the most in a single day. The death toll approaching China's, but Italy with just a fraction of the population. New video inside an ICU unit in the hardest hit part of Italy shows doctors fighting a relentless battle, working endless hours. One physician confiding, there are so many patients, there is no time for tears. A governor warning that soon they will not be able to help new victims of the virus amid an acute shortage of equipment. The rates of infection are being watched closely by the White House's Coronavirus Task Force. We're very interested in the curves in Italy because of the, their different approach and we're following every single country's curves. Italy's different approach is a tougher nationwide crackdown on public life than in the U.S. 8,000 people have already been cited in just one day for breaking the rules, and violations can result in jail time. And a warning for the United States. Italian filmmakers spreading the message of Act Now through an emotional video that shows quarantined Italians sharing what they would have told themselves to prepare 10 days ago. Stay at home. And with London having the most and fastest growing number of cases in the UK, there are now new reports of a so called shielding plan for the city that would essentially lock it down and contain it from the rest of the country. Now, David, the government has not confirmed these plans, but it seems like right now all options are on the table. David. All right, Maggie, thank you. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Rukah, Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well to his younger brothers in his truth. Peace and love to the hopeful elect scattered across the four corners of the earth. This is your brother, you know, Allah. Come again with this another lesson called Woe to the World and Them That Dwell Therein. And we know woe is destruction. You know, and at this time, it's a lot of destruction going on, you know, rumors of wars, you know, pestilence, you know, it's going all throughout the earth, <clears throat> you know. And um, I want to start at 2 Ezra, the 15th chapter, you know, <clears throat> to um to really just make a point of the lesson that I'm making. And first, matter of fact, I'm going to start at Matthew um, 24 chapter real quick, you know, because you have a my show told us this, you know. That this time was coming. And um, this is Matthew 24, and, uh, and I'm going to start at 4. And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, or the anointed, and shall deceive many. And that's right. And that's what's going on right now. Two. Because these pastors, you know what I'm saying, these churches are closed down because right now it's laws like they don't want um, more than 10 people, you know, of a company of people together. So, you know, it's going to be pastors, you know what I'm saying, saying that they're anointed, they're going to be, you know, doing certain things so the congregation keeps sending in those ties, you know, through, um, you know, through cash out, you know, through different little things, you know. Verse 5, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, and shall deceive many, and ye shall hear of wars, and rumors of wars, and see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So the end is not yet, but it's coming. But these things have came to pass, you know, because, um, you know the time you have a shot my shock, you know, those wars too. There's been plenty of wars during the time, but the end of... Uh, the end is not yet, you know, because it's certain prophecies that must be fulfilled, such as the RFID microchip, you know, ID 2020, you know, which is uh the last prophecy, you know, written. Uh -uh. So, um, back at it, uh, verse 7, For a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there should be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes, in diverse places. 
all these are the beginnings of sorrow. Yeah, all these are the beginning of the take of trouble. You know, all these things. You know, and as what's been going on since the um since the um you know the death. You know, really, really of his um transfiguration. You know, of our um savior becoming immortal. You know. You know, after that, all these things been going on, you know, a nation rising against nation, kingdom against kingdom, you know, famine, pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places. It's what's been going on, you know. I think Utah, if I'm not mistaken, just had a, a 5.0, you know, um, earthquake, you know. Don't quote me on that, but um, somewhere in America, they just had an earthquake, you know. It's been as big as since 1992, you know. So back at um, Second Ezra. The 15th chapter, you know, just to get to war to them, you know, and then they dwell on the earth because this was coming, you know, uh, it's their destruction, you know. So, second Ezra 15 and 14, woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, you know, these things are coming now, you know, just in the book of Habakkuk, you know, do it wait. I mean, though it tarry, wait for it, it's a locket, you know. Hey, it's tarry, I mean, though it tarry, hey, it's wait. But now it's trying now. Now it's coming closer. Now our salvation is nearer than we, than we believe, you know. And one people shall stand up and fight against another as swords in their hands, yeah. And the modern day sword is guns, you know. Hey, they're going to be fighting against each other, you know. Breaking to the houses, you know. Just like um the video I played in the beginning, you know. And it is like, hey, man, hey, even though it's the coronavirus, say hey, it's deaths, you know, going on, but hey, you know, it's more than just death. You know, it's killing, robbing, you know, going on. This is the cause of those deaths in 24 hours, you know. Hey, the, the um, virus is not that strong, you know, it's not killing within a day, period, you know. It, it catches you, yes, you get symptoms, you know, and they prolong, you know, then you might die, but it's not just like no, um, all out play that you just die within 24 hours you know <clears throat> you know so you know it's it's more than it's it's more to it than what it seems you know just from the coronavirus that it shows you know because that's why they're trying to set in those martial law and police those areas just like the um the video one of the brothers um in the camp wanted me to um watch you know on netflix a series called the uh containment Bro, they doing the same thing. They just implied in the video. They just they just implied that they want to do the same thing, contain certain areas, you know. And America is going to be um doing the same thing, you know. They are gonna be doing the same thing, taking the same thing that they doing, and they are gonna implement it here in America, you know. Cause Esau, he don't he don't know what the fuck he's doing, you know. Hey, just like he make a um a, a radical decision at work, people be like, man, what the hell, man, what the fuck that's for, you know. They so like it for my uh, French, but that's how Jake be, you know. What you doing there for? But hey, it's all through the power of spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, and you know you can't tell Jake nothing. And, and people don't like being, you know, enclosed and and told what not to do. You know, it's crazy. You tell Jake, you know, <clears throat> not to do something um righteous. You know, he do something wicked. You know, purposely. You know, but hey, you tell Jake to do something wickedly. And he gonna do something righteous, you know. Jay just, just backwards, you know. Jay put his pants on backwards, but um, starting at um verse fifteen for the sword and their destruction draw now, and one people shall stand up and fight against another people, yeah, nation against nation, and swords in their hands, yeah, with these modern day um guns, you know, modern day swords, you know, which is the guns, you know, tanks, all those things, you know, anything that's called destruction and bullshit. But there should be sedition among men and evading one another. Yeah, that's what's going on. Because the scripture from Spain, listen, they it say they should not regard their king nor a princess. Yeah, they are not gonna regard, you know, um the president, you know, uh uh uh, uh the, the chief of commander, you know, they not gonna be respecting those, you know, the chief of police, they they're not gonna be respecting those people. You know why? Why? Cause say in the course of their actions, shall stand in their power. You see, a man shall desire to go in a city and shall not be able, cause because that's their martial law. That's their martial law that that, that the government gonna have to imp, uh, implement 
on America and across the whole globe, you know, because, hey, these people are, are, are wreaking havoc, you know, they're becoming ludicrous, they're causing destruction, all chaos and madness because of what's going on, you know, they're not seeking to the Lord, which only the Lord is just is going to go come to one third and 144,000, you know, who come to him wholeheartedly, you know. So that's why we got to seek the Lord while he may be found in these times, you know, if you're part of those, um, a part of those numbers, you know, a part of that in a no poor number, you know. And they say, um, verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed. The men shall be afraid. Yeah, hey, the men going to be afraid, you know, because it's coronavirus, you know. Hey, hey, man, they cutting off their beards, you know. Hey, they're acting like women. They're scared. You know, they're not acting men. They're not. They're not gra uh, girding up the loins of their minds. You know, they're not thinking. You know, they are acting um irrational. You know, and they say uh, um verse nineteen, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Yeah, he's not gonna have pity upon his neighbor. Nor family members too. You know, hey, Jake could do anything, you know. Jake, hey, Jake, be real deal saying in a word, I done heard it for myself. And Jake said, man, he'd kill his mama, you know, for money that, that he need. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Jake is serious out here. And, and around these other countries, because America just said, you know, that they're taking, you know what I'm saying, the same actions as other countries, you know, and implementing it here. Hey, they might just let out certain inmates, you know, these inmates across the globe, you know, who rapists, killers, drug dealers, and all they know is to be surviving. For the fittest, so it ain't nothing, you know. They big, you know, you know, big giant men, you know, bigger than bodyguards. Hey, running up in your house, it ain't nothing, you know. All they know is to fight, you know, just just survive for the fittest, you know. You know, just work out, man. They lifting each other up in there. It's at verse 19. A man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but should destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. Yeah, that's what's going on right now. Great tribulation, lack of bread. Hey, in these stores, there's no tissues, water, you know, it's going all out. You know what I'm saying? They're going all out, you know, in these times, you know. Because it's a great tribulation going across the four corners of this world, you know. It, or this coronavirus, you know, this king virus is going on. Even though, hey, you got the Zika virus and all other stuff, you know, that they tried to force. But, hey, this coronavirus is stuck harder, you know. And it's, and it's all through the power of spirit you have by Shema and Shai. Because, hey, this time is really... Really, where they got the, you know, the microchip, like, really on point, you know, they got these 5G towers, you know, with a good Wi-Fi, so they know they can have higher frequencies or a or, 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 or broad radius where they can um, catch you, you know, you know, or find you, and if you don't have that, you know, ID, you know, 2020 or that microchip, hey, you'll be cute, you know what I'm saying, because you'll be labeled as a terrorist in the lands, you know, because the government can't keep up with you. So, or, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that's how they see it, you know, as you being a rebellion, you know, or a renegade, you know. But, hey, don't take that microchip because, hey, the Lord said, hey, you know what I'm saying, hey, you'll be cut off from the book of life, you know. And that's all I really just want to get into through the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. I hope you listen with edified through the Holy Spirit, which is the Rakar Kodash, and the Lasha One Kodash, which is the Holy Tongue. You know? Hey, hey, woe to the world and them that do it therein. You know? Hey, it's coming. And it's coming. You know? Hey, martial law here. You know? The microchip is here. You know? Hey, it just got to be forced a little harder. Hey, hey, they prolonging it, you know. You know, it, it, it right now, it's, the, it's it's like a slippery slope because some people know that the mark of the beast, you know, is the microchip. But, hey, really, even if they do know, you know what I'm saying, because people know that sin is the cause of death, but yet they still they still do it and, and, and try to use, you know what I'm saying, so-called Jesus Christ. As a as a um cover, you know, they say, oh, he know this thing, he know my heart, you know. Hey, your heart is the mind. And you know what I'm saying? The only way you can make it is through faith and through works. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't have faith, you know, which is part of that heart and that mind, and you take it, hey, you're gonna be destroyed because there's lack of faith. You didn't have faith, you know? And you talk and you trying to use it as a cover up 
cover up, you know, even though Jesus is not a real deity or a power, you know, trying to use it as a cover up, you know, to say he understand. No, no, ain't no understanding in it. Ain't no understanding in sins, you know, sins is the, is the wages of death, so ain't no understanding in it, you know. You got to have faith to the end. You got to have faith that the Lord is going to save you. The Lord is going to feed you in all times. And you know He is. If you have faith and you have that spiritual eye, you know. Some days you may not eat. But hey, it's not going to kill you to fast and pray. And, 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 and seek the Lord even harder in those times. You know. And when you do it, a hey, hey, Lord willing, the next day, shit, you have a damn feast. Shit, damn, hey, the Lord come back. You know. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and help you boost up your faith during that time while, while things are getting hard, while, while it's becoming a famine. You know, as they prolong and push this microchip across the four corners of this earth, which they are, you know. Hey, and with that, I hope this is more edifying. You know, this is your brother. You know, all again, I want to give all honor and glory to you. How about Shimmy? How about Shot by Shimmer Carcadosh? Double honor to the apostles and elders, great millstone who rule and teach well to the younger brothers and his truth. Peace and love to the hope of lace get across the four corners of this earth. Again, a ba ba ba. Hey, Kwame Asharala. Shalom.